There are thousands of different types of trees on Earth. Most of them look about how you'd expect. I mean, they're just trees, right? There are some little-known tree species, however, that are so unusual you'd think they're from a different planet. Here are the top 15 most unusual types of trees. Number 15. The Boojum Tree At first glance, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the Boojum Tree doesn't look all that tree-like. After all, not only is it found in the middle of the Baja Desert in California, but it has a peculiar shape that makes it look a whole lot more like a cactus than any species of tree. However, it turns out that the Boojum trees attain their wacky shape largely thanks to the softness of their inner wood, and their leaves grow around the bark and completely cover the tree in order to reduce water loss. Therefore, while the Boojum tree may look a little strange, it certainly is well equipped to handle whatever the desert throws at it. Number 14. The Jabuticaba Whether it's bananas, pineapples, papayas, or pears, across the board most fruits from trees develop on branches and then fall to the ground in order to allow the tree's seeds to be dispersed. However, the Jabuticaba trees of the Amazon rainforest turn this on its head by instead having its fruits sprout on its trunk. These fruits are small and black in color and almost look like oily tears or black boils growing across the body of the tree. However, despite looking rather strange, these fruits supposedly taste pretty good and are considered to be so close to grapes that locals even use them to make homemade wine. Best of all, when you consider that the tree will bloom and fruit several times per year under the right conditions, it becomes clear that it can provide a lot of booze over a long period of time. Number 13. Sculpted Trees Generally speaking, most people enjoy looking at trees that have been untouched by human hands. However, avid arbor sculptors certainly wouldn't agree. That's because rather than simply allow a tree to grow, these sculptors will use a variety of different techniques to make a tree grow in a strange yet special way. In particular, they achieve specific angles by grafting together two pieces of a living plant so that they grow together into one tree. And in addition to this, techniques such as trimming, bending, stalking, and tying are all commonly used. Once all is said and done, the fruits of their labor will often look vastly different to their natural counterparts, and in some cases, they'll be even more beautiful. Thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that this practice has become increasingly popular in recent years. Number 12. The Rainbow Eucalyptus Typically speaking, most of the trees we see in the forest are colored in some variation of brown and green. However, the Rainbow Eucalyptus does something a bit different by being one of the few multicolored trees out there. Now, the rainbow eucalyptus is the only eucalyptus tree indigenous to the northern hemisphere, as it's native to the tropical forests of the Philippines, New Guinea, and Indonesia, and has been cultivated in many other countries around the world. Growing to heights of up to 75 meters, its main claim to fame is its striped multicolored bark, which appears in streaks of pale green, red, orange, gray, and purplish brown. However, beyond its beautifully colored bark, it's ironically often used to create plain white paper, with the main tree plantations engaging in this practice being located in the Philippines. Regardless, we think you'd agree this tree is one of the most vibrant species out there. Number 11. The Bonsai Tree Out of all the trees on this list, few are quite as well known as the mighty bonsai. Found primarily in China and Japan, these tiny trees are extremely popular as growing them into strange shapes by trimming their branches and leaves has become big business. In fact, the business surrounding this practice is so large that the most expensive specimen ever sold for a whopping $1.3 million back in 2017. And there are many other bonsai that have sold for only a little bit less over the years. Therefore, we think it's fair to say that the bonsai tree is one of the more expensive species on this list. Number 10, the giant sequoia. While there are many tall trees out there, few come anywhere close to the giant sequoia. Found throughout the northwestern United States, these trees are also known as California redwoods and get their name thanks to the distinctive cinnamon red bark. Yet what really makes them stand out is the fact that they hold the Guinness World Record of being the tallest tree species in the world. This is because along with some species of eucalyptus, these giants often grow to heights of about 100 meters, with the tallest tree in the world in fact being a 116 meter tall giant sequoia known as Hyperion. Yet beyond their incredible height, they can also live for an incredibly long time, as their survival time of about 3,500 years makes them one of the longest lasting organisms on the planet. Interestingly enough, part of the reason for this longevity is their nearly impeccable defense against forest fires. 
root rot and dry spells, as these will very rarely kill a tree and will at most destabilize its base. Therefore, the giant sequoia is, by and large, one of the most impressive tree species on this list. Number 9. The Bristlecone Pine While the giant sequoia may take the cake for being the world's tallest tree species, the bristlecone pine edges it out in terms of age. Now, these two trees are practically next-door neighbors, as bristlecone pines are found across Utah, Nevada, and Eastern California. Yet despite their close proximity, they look nothing alike, as old bristlecone pines often look quite barren and often take on strange shapes thanks to the impacts of thousands of years of wind, rain, and sun exposure. Given their age, this isn't really all that surprising, as many specimens live for three to 4,000 years, and the oldest on record is currently alive and well at an impressive age of 5,070 years old. However, what's perhaps most incredible is that they seem to not only survive, but thrive in the face of unbearably cold temperatures, dry soils, unforgiving winds, and short growing seasons. This is mainly because they have the ability to shut down normal plant processes, and instead focus all of their energy on long-term survival rather than growth, causing a thriving bristlecone pine to look half-dead most of the time. As such, while they may not be all that pretty, they certainly are pretty incredible. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Dead Vlay Trees Generally speaking, most people don't go on trips to go see a collection of dead trees. Yet of all the dead trees out there, none are quite as strange as those in the Dead Vlay, which is sometimes referred to by its English name, the Dead Marsh. Now, the Dead Marsh was at one time very alive, as every five to ten years the Sawshop River would divert water into the area, allowing the ground to become soaked with water and support tree growth. However, this river diversion stopped about 900 years ago, when sand dunes cut off Dead Vlay from the Sawshop River, and predictably this caused all the trees in the marsh to die. However, the climate in the area was so dry that the trees couldn't even rot away, and as a result they still sit today as scorched black reminders of this former forest. This dichotomy of scorched black trees and massive sand dunes makes for some truly spectacular pictures, and as a result tourists sometimes travel to the area in order to see it for themselves. Yet due to this dried up marsh being in the middle of the Namib Desert in Namibia, you won't exactly see crowds of foreigners descending on the area if you ever do decide to give it a visit. Number 7. The Suicide Tree While most of the trees on this list are well known for being givers of life, this tree has the unfortunate distinction of being a harbinger of death. Known as the Othalanga, or the Suicide Tree, this species is found throughout Southeast Asia, but is most prevalent in India. Contrary to what many may believe, the majority of this tree is completely harmless. However, it's its harvest that proves to be deadly. This is because the tree grows a softball-sized fruit with seeds so toxic they can stop a beating heart. And unfortunately, they get into the hands of the hopeless all too often. After all, there are many regions in which this seed leads to the intentional demise of one person per week, as just one kernel is enough to be fatal within one to two days if left untreated. Unfortunately, the lack of widespread mental health programs in developing countries such as India has made this tree a tempting option for many, and thus it continues to facilitate fatalities across Southeast Asia to this day. Its toxins are also very hard to treat, as victims will often go through a painful process of vomiting, sweating, irregular heartbeats, and eventual death after eating one of this tree's sinister seeds. Thus, we think you'd agree the suicide tree is the least likable species on this list. Number 6. The Baobab Tree Madagascar is known for being home to some seriously strange species, and the Baobab Tree is no exception. Now, while different species of this tree are technically found throughout continental Africa, Madagascar, and Australia, it is the Grandadier's Baobab that's the most famous. Found only in Madagascar, it has a long trunk and flat branches that appear almost like the palm of a hand, and even has large, dry fruits with kidney-shaped seeds and edible pulp. Often growing to heights of 30 meters and living for over 800 years, these trees are nearly unmatched in terms of longevity, and they have a number of techniques in store in order to ensure their survival in even the toughest of weather conditions. In particular, they're known to store large quantities of water within their trunks, and the circumference of their trunk will actually increase or decrease in size depending on how much water it's storing. Yet despite their longevity, these baobabs are still considered to be an endangered species. This is because the increase of agricultural land in Madagascar has caused many of these trees to be cut down for timber, and even young trees have had a difficult time growing in what are now less densely forested environments. 
As such, a number of protected areas have been set up by the government in order to save this species. The most famous of these is the Avenue of the Baobabs, which is a stretch of scenic dirt road that's surrounded on all sides by baobab trees. Yet while these efforts have proven successful so far, we still suggest flying down to Madagascar to give these trees a look before it's too late. Number 5. The Quiver Tree While these trees may look like they belong on an alien planet, they can be found growing on dolerite rock formations across southern Africa. In particular, they are widespread in the countries of Namibia and South Africa. And in Namibia, they even feature on the country's 50-cent coin. But despite being tree-like in appearance, they are technically not trees at all, but instead are a species of aloe plant that can grow over 9 meters tall and can live for upwards of 300 years. These properties have helped it to gain various medicinal properties, as the native San people often use the quiver tree's roots to treat both asthma and tuberculosis. Beyond this, the tree is also used in weaponry, and African settlers still call this species the kokerboom today, in reference to the Sans people practice of hollowing out its tubular branches to make quivers for their arrows. Yet perhaps the most interesting aspect about this tree is that it has the incredible ability to perform self-amputation. While this may seem a little self-sabotaging, it often does this in order to either remove diseased limbs or shed off extra branches in times of drought. Unsurprisingly, it's largely thanks to this practice that many quiver trees are able to survive for hundreds of years. Now, if you'd like to see some for yourself, we suggest visiting a site known as the Quiver Tree Forest, located outside the town of Kitmanshup in southern Namibia. The site stands apart due to the fact that the trees grow unusually close to one another. This creates a forest-like landscape, and due to it being one of the only quiver tree forests in the world, it's a popular tourist destination for those visiting the area. Therefore, we suggest giving this forest a look the next time you're in southern Namibia. Number 4. The Banyan Tree Generally speaking, trees tend to stay in one place and will grow upwards in order to take in the sun's rays. However, the Banyan Tree turns this on its head, as it tends to grow sideways and upwards in order to stake out its portion of the sunlight. Now, the expansive ability of these trees is absolutely unmatched, as they're able to take up 1,347 square meters of space with just a single plant. For reference, this is about the size of a Manhattan city block, and when coupled with the fact that its branches can reach heights of up to 80 meters, it's not hard to see why these trees get quite a bit of attention. Now, these trees pull off their expansive escapades by spreading their seeds out so they land on other trees them sending their own roots down to smother their hosts, and then growing into smaller branch-supporting pillars that look like new tree trunks. This gives these trees the appearance of walking over an area of land after some time, and thus its classification as a strangler fig and walking tree are pretty spot on. However, these trees are perhaps best known not for their physical aspects, but for their symbolic meaning. You see, banyan trees are very common in India and are considered to be a sacred plant by Hindus. On a darker note, they were also used by British colonial administrators to hang dissidents during their rule over the country. As such, these two relatives have caused Indians to now have a very special relationship with the banyan. And thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that they became India's national tree after the country achieved independence. Number 3. The Dragon's Blood Tree while Yemen may not be the best place to travel to right now, it happens to be home to one of the most beautiful tree species on the planet. Known as the Dragon's Blood Tree, it's endemic to the Yemeni island of Socotra, and is perhaps best known for its upturned, densely packed crown that looks pretty similar to an umbrella. They are typically found across granite mountains and limestone plateaus, and are known to live for upwards of 600 years. However, this species gets its name not from its longevity, but from its dark red resin that's popularly known as Dragon's Blood. And while this name may seem a little grand for some simple tree sap, the truth of the matter is it's known to have some incredible properties. Most notably, it's used as a medicine and is generally considered to be a cure-all for ailments such as fevers, wound healing, diarrhea, ulcers, and dysentery. Yet beyond the medicinal realm, it achieved widespread use as a red dye in many high-end products, with the intense red color of legendary cultural treasures, such as the Stradivarius violins reportedly being dyed by the sap of this tree. Thus, it goes without saying that it's extremely special. However, in spite of its unique history, the dragon's blood tree faces some severe threats on its island home. This is because Socotra is starting to create a large industrial and tourism sector, and this has caused many of the trees to be chopped down in order to make way for these new developments. This has then been made worse by the fact that the land these trees are on is often slow to regenerate, and as increased cattle grazing across the island has made it difficult for young trees to take root. 
In response, the unique flora and fauna of Socotra has been deemed as a World Heritage Site and a Global 200 Eco Region. However, whether this will lead to significant protection in the future is yet to be seen. Number 2. The Sandbox Tree Of all the trees on this list, few are quite as great and quite as evil as the Sandbox Tree. Found throughout tropical areas of both North and South America as a native species and the plains of Tanzania as an invasive one, these trees grow to heights of up to 40 meters and stand apart thanks to their gray bark and cone-shaped spikes. They're also notable because of their seed-filled pumpkin-shaped fruits, which upon reaching maturity will explode with a loud bang and fling their hard, flattened seeds at speeds of up to 240 kilometers an hour and distances of over 18 meters. However, the unfortunate truth is that this is not the only way in which the sandbox tree can cause harm. For example, even before exploding, the fruit of the sandbox tree is poisonous and it causes vomiting, diarrhea, and cramps if ingested. The tree sap is also quite dangerous, as coming into contact with it can cause rashes, blistering, and even blindness. As such, it shouldn't come as a surprise that many native tribes actually use its poison to make poisonous darts. And that poison has given this tree the rather fitting nickname such as Monkey's Pistol, Monkey No Climb, and our personal favorite, Monkey's Dinner Bell. Yet that's not to say that the sandbox tree does not have some redeeming qualities. After all, oils extracted from the seeds supposedly acts as a purgative. Leaves from its branches have been used to treat eczema, and when properly prepared, certain extracts from the sandbox tree are said to treat rheumatism and intestinal worms. However, despite all of these benefits, the tree is still quite dangerous, so we suggest staying away from it if you ever happen to be trekking through a tropical forest. Number 1. The Manchineel Tree out of all the entries on this list, none are truly as terrifying as the Manchineel tree. And while we may sound a little exaggerated, the truth of the matter is that every single part of this tree is dead set on killing or injuring you in some way. Now, the species is generally found in countries throughout the Caribbean and Central America, typically growing on beaches and being laden with small apple-like fruits. Yet, we would highly suggest staying far away from these fruits as these seemingly sweet treats can cause your throat to swell shut and mouth to burn for hours on end. However, if that seems bad, then the sap will sound even worse, as it's not only toxic, but so strong that if it comes into contact with your skin or eyes, it can burn right through and cause permanent scarring and blindness. This has led to many tourists experiencing horrific injuries, as there are countless cases of foreigners sheltering under them during rainstorms and then being covered in this burning sap. Unfortunately, the tree's painful properties don't end there. After all, further injuries have been reported by inhaling smoke while burning its wood, touching parts of its trunk, or even by standing close to one while wind is blowing in your direction. Thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the Machineel tree holds the Guinness World Record for being the world's most dangerous tree, as they have the ability to make a trip to the tropics absolutely torturous. Yet before you go and cancel your next Caribbean all-inclusive vacation, Rest assured that locals have begun to notice these dangers and act proactively by painting red X's or nailing warning signs to the trees in order to warn potential victims. Regardless, we still suggest keeping your guard up next time you're around any tropical-looking trees. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.